Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are all doing great. I uh, thought I would come up here and do a chat video outside. I sat here for 30 minutes already doing it and my phone went completely off. So video just disappeared. <laughs> that is very aggravating. So we're going to try this again. I don't know if it's because I talked for like 30 minutes in that one and maybe that's what it was, but I'll try to make it shorter, I guess. But anyway, what am I doing? I just thought I'd come up here and do a little chat video. And I know the sun's probably in my face or behind me. And it's making it look weird on the phone. But anyhow, I'm going to go go to go with the flow. <laughs> um, I kind of got it set at an angle because I thought maybe you might could see the woodpeckers showing up on the suet over there. But we'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, I'm just going to chat about whatever. I'm working on a cardigan. I got got a little bit of it done a while ago while I was chatting with you guys. And, of course, you're not going to hear anything I said during that one. <laughs> but anyway, I am working on it. My first ever cardigan. And uh, it's by For The Frills. And she's got a YouTube channel. And I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go check it out. I just found her. And I think it's called The Bulky pocket uh or oversized pocket cardigan i do believe and so i decided i wanted to make one and um to wear this winter around the house now uh, yarn is a mess <laughs> but i had bought these skeins oh it's been several months with the intentions of making this uh scarf and I ended up buying two of them, which I knew one of them would be enough because it says one ball is enough. But I bought two of them because I wanted to make something else with the other one. But I decided to make this. And so this is my first one, and it is bright. <laughs> I wanted something to do with tie-dye, I guess you could say, because, you know, I'm a 70s girl. I grew up in the 70s, and I love, you know, all the tie-dye stuff. And so I guess you could say I'm a little bit of a hippie at heart. <laughs> but anyway... I think it's going to be pretty, and when in the winter time, I'm always freezing, and I thought, you know, I wear layers of clothes, and I thought this would be perfect over the top of it, and I think I'm making a large, which I might have made it, it might be too big, I don't know, we'll see, but like I said, I wear layers and go with that, but anyway, thought I would uh, come up here and chat with you guys while I work on this, see if I can try this again, and I had a lot to say on the other one. <laughs> And now, it just like I said, it disappeared. But I love doing, I love listening to chat videos while I work on something. So I thought I would do one. I hadn't done one in a long time. It's been a good while. But what have I been up to? Well, that was one of the things I was going to talk about. I have been extremely busy with yard work. Um, back in April, it's been a while, I went to the greenhouse and bought a bunch of a bunch of flowers. I had been wanting flowers for a long time of the ones that I got and I just never have done it before because I I didn't have the room at the other place and I just didn't you know I didn't know what our future was going to bring because we were renting at the time and um, I just didn't want to invest all that money in something and then have to leave it there because we had talked about moving and so I waited and and then we finally moved and we've been here for four years i've got a knot in my stuff wouldn't you know it but anyhow um we end up moving and it's been four years and so this last this april this last april i decided to go to the greenhouse and pick up some plants that i've always wanted and i got a lot of plants that pertain to butterflies and bees and stuff like that and i got the ones that i have a hard time saying the word it's the perennials <laughs> And I got annuals, which I love my hanging baskets, and I got a bunch of those. I end up, I end up getting like 35 hanging baskets on, for my front, for a total. Oh, there's a hummingbird. I hadn't seen them in a while, so they're back now. But anyway, um, I got 35 baskets, and I divide them up between my front deck and my back deck. And then on top of that, I've got a bunch of uh, potted plants. <laughs> So yes, I went a little crazy, and then I went, I went hog wild buying all the other stuff because I just, I did, I went crazy. And so anyway, I went to the greenhouse and got me some. But the whole thing though was, whenever I got them that day, I was told that we were going to be having a frost, frost 
for the next two days. So, I wasn't going to let that stop me. So I decided to go ahead and get them, and I had them all packed in my car. I didn't have Hubby's truck, because I think he was at work at that time, and he had the truck. So I took the car, and let me tell you, it was like a jungle inside my car. <laughs> so by the time I got home, I unloaded it, and I put it all into my utility room, because I have a pretty good size utility room, and uh, did that, and left them in there for like four days, but I would bring them out, in and out, you know, during the day, because it was, got warm during the day, but at night is whenever it would, you know, do its thing that early morning. And so I would have to do all that, and that, that was, that wore me out. <laughs> and so anyway, I did that for a while, so then I got them out, and then I ended up planting them, and then I went back again to the greenhouse, and I got more, and then I'd go to Walmart, and I got more, and like I said, I went crazy. And so now my yard, my flower beds are all set up pretty much the way I want them to. And like I said, I wanted to get a bunch of them that'll come up next year. And so I'm super excited about it. And I only lost one plant out of all of that. And it was a tomato plant. And it was actually two weeks later when we had a free we had a freeze coming in. It was one of the weird things that was coming through. It was something that hardly ever happens here. And it was like at the end of April. And it was going to be like in the 20s. And so, at least they said that was strange for here, which I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe it was. But anyway, um, after, because of that, I had everything planted, and I had to go and buy sheets. I had to go buy tarps, so, so I had to cover it all, and that was a job. I did that for like a week. Now, it didn't freeze every day, but I was so scared that I was going to lose my plants because I had a bunch. And that, like I said, morning and night, having to cover it and then uncover it. That was a job. And I ended up bringing in all my hanging baskets and all my pots into my big bathroom and stuck them in the shower and stuck them all in the bathroom. So we couldn't even, I just had a path to where if we needed to go to the bathroom, that was where it was at. <laughs> so we'd have to use the other one. And so I had to, I had to do that for a while. So finally they're all planted and hopefully we won't have a, another freeze or snow. I hope not because if we do, I give up. I just, <laughs> I kept all my sheets of course and my tarps, but some of the other stuff I got rid of it and that was a job. So now it's all looking pretty. I'm super excited about it and um, yeah, I'm happy with it. So anyway, I'm using a size six millimeter uh, crochet hook if you're wondering at J. It's one of my favorite hooks. It's the Clover Amore. I believe is how you say it. I bought these like oh goodness oh three years ago maybe and I've used them ever since. It's one of the easiest ones I've used on my hands. But anyway and I got them at a good deal. I think I got the whole set for like $30 off of Amazon at the time. So anyhow uh I did all of that and then I got my garden and it's doing really good and I was super excited about that. I ended up finding me some um, lemon cucumber seeds online. I did find the plants one year at Walmart but I guess they don't carry them you know already you know started up in the stores anymore so I had to buy the seeds. I hope you guys can hear me because it is windy out here. <laughs> but anyway. I started the seeds and they're now starting to come up and I'm so excited because the lemon cucumber is one of my favorite. I love going out and picking them off the vine and eating them right there just like my tomatoes. Oh yeah, I love a garden like that. I just, that's how I, I like doing it. And so I've been busy with my garden. Like I've got two and uh, two vegetable gardens and I've got flower beds all over the place and all the insert some pictures at the end of what it, what some of them look like and some of my hanging baskets and some of my flowers I got and stuff like that. But that's what I've been doing and I've been super busy weed eating and mowing and pulling weeds and just messing around in the yard and stuff like that. But I've been doing that and plus I also hadn't been feeling very good. I, I normally don't talk about it but I know I mentioned it one time about having some heart 
things going on and I had to have a heart catheterization. Well, I went back for my checkup a week ago, I think, or two weeks ago. Here comes my chicken. <laughs> I got a chicken named Red. She's a sweetheart. She hears me talking, that's why she's coming now. And anyway, uh, I had to go back to my checkup to have him check and make sure everything was okay. But I have been extremely, extremely tired. Uh, I know I'm I know I'm tired. I know the difference between physical tired of doing what I do out here and something else going on tired. And I have been feeling that for a couple of weeks, I guess. And so I told him, I said, something's going on and I can't figure it out and I don't know what it is. I'm extremely exhausted, not from work, because I can get up in the morning and I can't sometimes, I can't even walk across the room without having to sit back down. I have to push myself. And so, anyway, long story short, he's going to do another sleep apnea test on me to see if maybe I have sleep apnea. And this time we're going to do it at home. They haven't called me yet to send me my machine to, to whatever test or whatever they do to see if, if that's what I got. So I'll be glad when they do that. I've been feeling a lot better the last few days because, um, I don't know, it just it's strange. It comes and goes. But... I'm hoping they'll find out what it is because I want to feel like my old self. And uh, and like I said, uh, by the time I get through uh, at night or in you know during the day, and I go in, me and hubby sit down and eat. I'm ex I'm exhausted at the end of the day because I'm a I'm a pusher. I push myself. I make myself go. I just go go go. And hubby's always you need to stop and slow down. You need to take a break. You know. I just do it all. I've been that way my whole life. I'm like the Energize Bunny. I just keep going and going and going. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully they'll find out and they can get to the bottom of it and I can get the rest I need. Because he said I also had a, I think he said sluggish blood or sluggish low oxygen or something. Ah, truthfully, I can't remember what he said. He told me something. It's one of those things when you go to the doctor, you're always glad when somebody else is there and they hear what they're saying because... You know, I, sometimes I kind of like don't hear what he's saying because I'm too busy focusing on what he just said and don't hear everything he said. <laughs> anyway, I just hope they find out. So that's what I've been up to. I've been busy doing that. And, and hubby's hours, his hours are different now. He goes to work at 1230 at night and he gets home early in the morning. So I haven't gotten a whole lot of crochet done during the day because by the time he gets home, I'm... Um, I'm busy outside doing the thing, and he doesn't care about me crocheting. He, I can sit in the house all day long and crochet. He don't care. But at night, when we get done eating, he has to go to bed at, a, at like 7 o'clock. And by the time I sit down and start working on something, I'm falling asleep watching YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I've been up to. But I was kind of hoping the woodpeckers would show up back there and so you can see them. But hopefully my phone won't cut off again. If it does, I give up on this, on it. That's, that's aggravating. You sat here for nearly 30 minutes and it just went completely blank. So maybe I should pause it for a minute and maybe make it go again. So I'm going to try that. So let's pause it and see what happens. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> we'll see how that works. If it shuts me off again, I don't know. I'll just have to do a normal video, I guess. <laughs> None of my videos are normal. <laughs> I'm not a pro, as you can tell. But anyhow, uh, that's what I've been up to. And just being out, doing my thing. I love being outside. I, I, uh, I, I enjoy nature. The closer I get to it, the happier I am. And speaking of nature, last night I had eight coons in my yard. I couldn't believe it. I knew I had four. But then they started bringing their friends and family and everything. So they're back in the back eating stuff back there that we put out for the uh, deer. You know, my little pet deers. <laughs> I got a bunch of deer that show up. And so I just got a zoo behind my house. So I've got eight coons. That's the, first, that's the most I've ever seen in my life at one time. The only time I've ever seen that many coon in my life was... There's a video I watched on YouTube where this uh, gentleman has, I don't know how many, it seems like 50 or more that show up at his house. It's pretty cool, but anyway, I think it's neat. Anyway, that's what I had at my house last night. And so, 
But anyhow, that's what I've been up to. Just working in the yard, health-wise that, and just trying to stay busy, keep my mind occupied. But I guess I'm going to hop off of here. I hate to cut it shorter than what I did a while ago, but I sure don't want to start it all over again after that. But anyway, it's been fun chatting with you. I loved listening to people do the chat videos and just me working on a project so I can just listen to them where I don't have to, you know, stop and look or I guess. I don't know. I just love chat videos when I'm working on something. And uh, I enjoy it. So hopefully some of you guys will enjoy the chat video too. Like I said, if my first one would have worked, I had a lot more to say. <laughs> But now I'm kind of leery. I keep looking at the time and I'm afraid it's going to shut me off. But anyway, I guess it goes to my dog, Sunny. She's after uh, one of the squirrels, probably wanting to bark at it or something. There's no telling about her. She is one of the most vocal dogs I've ever owned in my life. But she didn't say nothing. I'm kind of shocked. But anyhow, <laughs> that's my other little critter that I got. So, I guess I'm going to hop off of here. Hopefully, you guys can hear me through all the wind. It's been pretty windy today, and the sun's shining through the back and and all that kind of stuff. So, hopefully, you can see me, see what I'm working on. But that's how far I've gotten. So, I think it's going to be pretty. I love it. I love all the colors. But anyhow, I'm going to get off of here before I get completely washed out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting at you guys real soon. <laughs>